Welcome, you guys, and I'm just showing you a little bit of my morning, and in just a few seconds, I will be getting into the explanation of my morning planner routine. So thank you for joining me, and I hope that you enjoy this video. Hi you guys, and I'm gonna say good morning because this is not only being filmed in the morning, but this is a morning planner routine. Now, if you're not watching it in the morning, good evening, afternoon, whatever it is for you. Thank you for joining me and I appreciate it. If you like these kind of videos to hit the like button and I would love to have you join me. So if you would like to subscribe, I am totally welcoming that as well. So I'm going to walk you through my morning planning routine. I love, love, love figuring out routines because just like what other people do and what works for them because even if it doesn't work for me, it's something to try. It's, um, my routine is always changing. Seasonally for sure, monthly most likely, and sometimes every couple weeks. So without further ado, let's get into walking you through what my morning planner routine is. So the first thing I like to do is um, I like my habit tracker page here because it reminds me to keep track of these habits. I have not done the greatest job with that this month, as you can tell, but it's a step forward. And this one I'm thinking wasn't so good because it's kind of mixed, but this is, I won't even really go into that in this video because it is not what this video is about. But usually filling out my habit tracker right when I open it up and using it as a guide for me for where I need to go in my planner. But technically, my planner is always open to this page in the mornings for myself. So this page is April's um, monthly spread for my fitness and wellness. And this is where I keep track of my weight. Um, so every morning I get up, I weigh myself, and I write my weight down. It's not just the number that I am writing that down. I just want to explain that. It's There's so much more to it than the number for me. It really just like gives me ideas of how my previous day of eating and activity and moods were. So my number te technically tells me a lot in that area. So I always make sure my planner, when I go to bed, I go upstairs, I have my planner, my water, and my phone, and I open my planner up to this, this spread. I usually have my watch. I take my watch off at night and I write some of my stuff down, but I usually have my watch and my pen ready to write down the day's weight. Then what I end up doing is I end up going to my faith section, which I don't have them labeled just because I know what they are and I um, have yet to find the labels that I want or buy a label maker and so on. So I go to my faith section and this month I am trying out the faith journaling as well as some note pages. Um, in past months, I've had my monthly spread where I will either write down my intention for the day or a prayer. I really like the prayers for the monthly spread and I'm very much missing that this month. But technically this month I am just writing down um, the, like the scripture and I'm going with the journal. So I love that every day has the scripture, your prayers, and then has some other ways of just getting you your thoughts in and um, having time with the Lord. And these aren't really anything I'm decorating. I am just te technically taking up some of the space here and using my notes section, like this section to write down notes. Um, I like to summarize the scripture that I read and um, put it in 
you know, my own words. And that's what I am really enjoying doing for Faith right now. I have been getting up the past few days um, doing this before I even go downstairs. So I actually do weigh myself, come back to bed, and get in time with the Lord. And I follow a scripture a Bible plan by Little Faith Blog. I've talked about this so much, and their link is in my description. I do not have this month's printed. I was a little bit lazy about that. So what I do need to do is print it and put it here. But usually I have the calendar here and I use that as a guide. Right now I'm just pulling it up because it's on my phone as a picture and I'm able to follow that. And I use the Bible app on my phone to read the scripture, um, the, uh, yes, the scripture and go through and actually just summarize it. And I try to spend time praying and this is usually anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes of my morning. The next thing I will do is I will go to my catch-all section. So as you can see, I kind of have a lot of little things going on here. But what I will end up doing is going through and seeing if there's anything going on that day that I need to um, make a priority. I will check things off if I went went through them and didn't really remember to check them off the, the night before. Um, and yes, it's a mess, but it honestly just makes sense to me. And I will go through and make sure that I have basically anything that I need to do that day. And I will get a sticky note out and I will go through and write down the things that I need to get done that day. So even though they're listed here, or I might just be ending up listing them there, I will go ahead and write them on a sticky note. Um, I know this is rep repetitive, but for me, this is really good for my brain to remember these kind of things right now because there are so many times that I don't end up remembering half of things because there's just constant interruptions throughout the day with kids. So today's to-dos are budget, planner organization, and just get to what I call the list, which is kind of my running to-do list, but none of it is anything that is like detrimental to get done today. I make sure that I check off that I got through my wellness, and then I go through my cleaning, and I put down anything that is not like a daily type of thing. So, um organize and declutter. I kind of just put that together to save space. I might write down my zone item. So I might put a drawer or a cupboard. And then I might write down like the one or two things that I really have to get out um, for social media that day. So um, I know I was editing or needing to edit today and make sure my video is ready for tomorrow, Saturday. So usually I would probably, I usually use sticky notes this size um, or I'll use separate ones for um, cleaning and my to-do lists, but I love sticky notes. Um, I can just take them if I can't lay my planner out and be around it all day long or whatnot. So that's what I do for my sticky notes and to be productive and get things done that day. The next thing that I will do is really just get my coffee, enjoy my time with my kids. If for some reason I didn't get to some of these things that I just showed you, I would end up making sure I do that. I would eat my breakfast because I always eat my breakfast right when I get downstairs. It's not right when I wake up because as you can see, I spend some time upstairs in my room, waking up, spending time with the Lord, getting quiet time in before I can um, come downstairs and honestly just be ready for everything that the kids will have for me. So I try to be intentional with my kids at this time, but if I didn't get some of this done, I will sit down with my coffee, my breakfast, and my planner, and I will get planning and ready for the day. And that leaves me time for when my kids are eating, I can get some stuff done in the kitchen and work on some of this list in what I call a productivity pocket. 
by the time that is over, I end up just spending time with my kids. We go outside, we play, and I'm really not trying to touch my planner at all until the afternoon. So technically, I have just walked you through my morning planner routine. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some ideas or anything that you were seeking when you clicked on this video. And let me know in the comments what your planner routine is or if there is any, um, other ways that you think of can be you can be more productive in the morning i would love to hear about them i know waking up a little bit earlier is not super fun when you're laying in your bed and you want to keep sleeping but knowing that all of that is done and ready to go for the day helps me so much to have a good morning and a very productive day so if you haven't already, subscribe. I would love to have you see my next video and many, many more to come. Thank you for joining me. Introduce yourself and um, I will see you guys for the next video. Bye.